24, 2012. This is the SAT ACT math problem. Find the length of the diagonal in a rectangular prism. In other words, we're interested in going from point A to point B. This is sometimes referred to as the inner diagonal in a rectangular box. And when we have the inner diagonal, we have three dimensions. And really what we're doing is we're using Pythagorean theorem twice. So we can find the diagonal from A to C, this diagonal. This is a right angle here. So that would be AC squared is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared. And so you recognize that as a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. AC would be the square root of 9 plus 16, which is 25. So that happens to be 5. So AC here is going to be 5. And then we have another right triangle that is ACB. So we're looking for the length of AB. So now we're going to have uh, AC squared plus BC squared is equal to AB squared. And so if you recognize that, that's another Pythagorean triple, which is what? 5, 12, 13. So AB would be the square root of 144 plus 25, which is 169. So AB would be the square root of 169, which is 13. So the answer for this problem would be 13. So that's the length of the inner diagonal. Okay. Now we can summarize this lesson and say that anytime you have a rectangular solid, the inner diagonal is always going to be the square root of the three dimensions, length squared plus width squared plus height squared. So in this case, if we had taken 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared, then you know what the answer is going to be, right? A disappearing act here. It's like magic. If you had 3 squared, 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 12 squared, it's going to be 9 plus 16 plus 144. If you take the square root of all this, that would be your diagonal. So this would be the square root of 169. So B would be 13. And so the main thing is that we know the formula here. And we now have verified our answer is 13.